The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the baptism of our Lord, falling on January 9th this year, as we meditate upon the lessons, the scripture readings for this Sunday and pray together. The theme that ties these three readings together is the triune God opens heaven to you in holy baptism. Again, the triune God opens heaven to you in holy baptism. Let us pray together. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The lessons for this uh, baptism of our Lord Sunday. The first lesson is the Old Testament lesson, which comes from the prophet Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, verses 1 through 7. Hear the word of the Lord. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you. I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, Give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle lesson for this Sunday, the baptism of our Lord, comes from the book of Romans, the sixth chapter, verses 1 through 11. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we have died with Christ, we believe that we also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And finally, the gospel lesson, which is from the gospel of St. Luke, the third chapter, verses 15 through 22. As the people were in expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Christ, John answered them all, saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his th threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations he preached good news to the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, who had been reproved by him for Herodias, his brother's wife, and for all the evil things that Herod had done, added this to them all, that he locked up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, 
And the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The baptism of our Lord is an epiphany, is an epiphany of the one true God in the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. In his divine mercy, he takes his place with sinners and takes their sin upon himself when all the people were baptized. When all the people were baptized, Jesus submitted himself to a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus had no sins of his own, but he took the sins of the whole world upon himself and so was baptized into his own death. Therefore, when you pass through the waters, he is with you. He created you for His glory, and He has redeemed you by His very blood, that you may be His own and live with Him in His kingdom. As you are baptized with a baptism like His, so also you are united with Him in His death and resurrection, that you might walk in the newness of life. For all who are baptized into Christ Jesus receive His anointing of the Holy Spirit and are named by His Father as beloved and well-pleasing sons and daughters. Amen. We pray together now first the prayer of the day for this baptism of our Lord. Let us pray. O Father in heaven, as the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River, you proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, Make all who are baptized in his name faithful in their calling as your children and inheritors with him of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.